Live from the studios of Coefficient Media in Jackson, Michigan. This is the Android App Show, episode number 71. This week, we actually have some good news to report on a lawsuit against Google or oh. Android. Yeah, it's Google. Yeah, that's good. Good news. Welcome to the Android App Show. The future of the telephone business is bright and rich with promise for the millions of telephone users like yourselves, whose quick acceptance and ready use of each improvement in telephone service has helped make possible an endless chain of accomplishments. What will it be this time? Welcome, everybody. Welcome to the show. You having some uh, soft serve light bulb there, Dave? It's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> it's compact and it's fluorescent. It tastes mm. delicious. It's your uh, recommended daily value of mercury. Yeah. <laughs> now, seeing as I don't eat fish from Lake Michigan. Oh, touche. Yeah. Touche. I got to start eating some bulbs. <laughs> <laughs> Keep up with the Joneses. Yeah. Well, this is the Android App Show, and I am Dave. And I'm Lane. And we got a lot of cool stuff going on. Yeah, uh, this week, well, I guess you've got something new you want to talk about first, right? The uh, the lighting situation? Oh, yeah, we have some lights going on. We got some new lights. They're not in the right position yet, but not quite. we're testing them out. If you notice any weird images, let us know. We've noticed some stuff. We're still trying to perfect it. Yes, we are still making upgrades. Yeah, and we're uh, we're working on some new lower third stuff that looks like that kind of cool. Yeah, so see, so watch. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, so <laughs> we are upgrading our studio one little bit at a time. We we can't afford to That's have right. a completely new studio. The bricks get put down, you know, a little bit slower when you got to pay for them yourself. So when you have to pay for them yourself and you don't have any money. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's a, yeah. Never mind. If you know to whom I'm referencing, then you'll know, you'll get the brick reference. Yes. So it's kind of funny because I don't know. I guess uh, we know they're watching our shows because they keep copying the apps that we're reviewing. <laughs> it's kind of funny. It's not a coincidence. You can't. It's great though. Uh, all right. It's an homage lane. It's yes. a tribute. That's uh, they say the uh, imitation is the highest form of flattery. So. Yeah. Uh, but we do have a sponsor this week. We do. That's how we got. That's how we can afford these lights. Uh, that's true. Uh, this episode is being brought to you by Carbonite Online Backup. It's a service that automatically backs up your files uh, to an online secure server. Uh, it works on Mac and PC. And the great thing, I this is what I think is best about mm -hmm. this. You don't have to worry about how much space you need for your backups right. because it's unlimited. Now that's the first thing you know when I when I you know started managing my own backups. I'm like you know what should I get? Well, I got a hard drive, and of course within a couple of months it wasn't enough because you know I vastly you know underestimated it. Mm -hmm. um, but this is pretty awesome because it just automatically sends it off to the internet, yeah, and it holds all your stuff on your hard drive. Well, it's kind of crazy. It's so helpful because Carbonite has helped restore over seven billion files. Whoa! Yeah, seven billion computer files have been restored using Carbonite. That's a big number. That's a lot of <laughs> stuff. Yeah, if you, you don't want to try and recreate that if you lose it. You know, you're not that's not good. I wonder what their uh their data center looks like. It's probably a little oh. bit bigger than that stack you got over there. Yeah. It's more it's probably <laughs> a, a little more organized than my current backup solution right here. Stacks <laughs> of hard drives. Put them in the corner, huh? Half of them of which are dead. Well, the great thing about this is in case of a natural disaster like a fire or a hurricane, your files are safely stored off-site. So whenever, you know, that disaster is happening, you don't have to think as you're going out the door or whatever, like, where are you, where's your backup? You're grabbing it to make sure all those pictures and everything are safe. It's just uh, pretty yeah. much out of sight, out of mind, and off of your worry list. Uh, you can also access all your files from Android, iPhone, and BlackBerry devices That's cool. from anywhere. Yeah. So... Uh, the service is great, but let's get down to brass tacks. Mm -hmm. uh, usually it's free for 14 days uh, if you go to Carbonite.com. Is it 15? Free 15-day trial. Okay, there, there you go. Um, but we have a promotional code Yeah. that will get you two months for free. Yeah, so it, this is um, if you order Carbonite and then you use the promo code TPN, so you can have your 15-day free trial. No credit card required. But then if you decide to order, you'll get two months for free. Whoa. Just use the TPN code. 
So you're saying two months on top of the uh, two weeks. Uh, yeah. That's pretty nice. So mm-hmm. uh, go ahead and visit Carbonite.com. Click on the Learn More big green button that you'll see over on the consumer side there and enter the code TPN Yeah. and uh, you'll be good to go. I like it. So it's a good way to support the show and back up your files because backups are important. It's true. It's very important. So let's see. You want to get into our next segment here, the app reviews? Yeah, let's do that. All right. Uh, this first app I have coming up here to review is called Galataxi, and it's spelled uh, uh, G-A-L-A-T-A-X-I. That's for all of our uh, audio listeners that didn't get this awesome little animation that we had coming down here. So uh, watch the video, folks. Um <laughs> This is kind of uh, cool. It's a 99 cent download. Uh, right now, the stats are showing it has between 1,000 to 5,000 downloads. That's as specific as I can get. And the content reading is for everyone. So let's see if we can uh, go ahead and bring up the, the awesome HDMI mirroring camera, also known as this cable that I got coming out of my phone. <laughs> a little thing sticking out of there. So, all right, here we go. I'll open this up. Gala Taxi. Oh, yeah. So, uh, I like it. Play. Uh, they don't have swipes to go between the levels here. You have to click the arrows back and forth. Um, but it's kind of cool. They have a, a training section you complete. Uh, and then they have a section focusing on speed, uh, one on logistics, and one on control. And then they said there's there's more coming soon. Uh, so I'll, I'll bring you up here into the, the training. Um, I'll play this level. You have a directional control on the left side, and you have a red button on the right side uh, that does your firing thrusters. So you change the direction, fire your thrusters, and you also have this little handy map on the bottom. So you see I landed on the planet, and then it shows me a little green arrow. I got to take off land on this planet boom level complete so if I go back to the menu here uh, it's got that little sync icon that's flashing at me that right there is to sync up your score to their online server and it shows you the top rank and it shows you where your rank is and you can watch a video along the right by pressing any of these buttons (laughs) of, uh, of how they actually got that high score that's kind of cool. Yeah, it's very cool. So you touch to play. Shows him coming over here and getting it. He's going to fly back over here. Boom. That's how you get the highest score on that. And then if you hit play from here, uh, it will bring you into the game to play it. So you can try and, and beat that high score. So let's go up here to one of these that it looks like I did a good job at. We'll load up five on speed. I'll pull up the scores. I got a five... Two, two, one. So I'm number four ranked right now on this level. Nice. Pretty cool stuff. I have some high ranks on here, but I suspect that it's not because I'm awesome. Uh, it's because there's not that many downloads. So mm-hmm. uh, your clock doesn't start until you actually press the screen to start playing. So that's helpful. And you have different kinds of people. This one has a camera on it, this guy I'm picking up, which means I have to go and fly in the vicinity of another planet or asteroid or whatever for however long they want. He's a tourist. So you see on my map it lights up green on the map too to tell you which one is your ne- next destination. I see. And if you're really cool you can kind of sling through these with minimal effort. Uh, but if you're not like me you know and you're trying to talk and do the game at the same time. Oh. Yeah. So, is there a gravitational pull to these things? Totally. Oh. Sorry about that, guys. The cable's acting up on me. Yeah, there's a gravitational pull. Nice. Nice. Um, Let's see. I want to try and show you like some of the other ones, too. Uh, this guy's a businessman. So, I'm going to fly over here to this planet. Businessmen just want to be transported somewhere. So, I'm going to land... I'm going to fly him to another planet through these black holes. Yeah, black holes have very high gravity, and they will sling you way out, make you burn up all your fuel to try and get back around to a planet. Uh So beware. 
See, see how that happens right out the screen. So Einstein's theory of a. Oh. Oh. <laughs> if you just hit menu, you can restart right away mm -hmm. too. I want to try and find uh, one that does the the scientists. Let's see. I think this this is the last level of the game right now. I think this has scientists on it. No, these are all business guys. This this game should be super nerdy and like the universe loops over onto itself. That would be kind of cool. <laughs> so like you go off one side and you go back on the other. No scientists on this one. I should have uh, probably wrote down what had scientists before, right? Yeah. Uh, what maybe are they I can guess. Sometimes you can guess just by looking at them. Um, I don't want to give it away. There he is. See, he's hey. got the little atom around his head. Hey there, scientists. So when you get a scientist, you go to a planet, and instead of dropping him off or just hovering around and taking pictures... You have to go into orbit so that they can scan it. Oh, that's cool. And it automatically puts the direction that it wants <laughs> you to go into uh, based on how you entered orbit. So you'll never have to reverse orbit. You know, like if you started going into orbit around a planet one way, and then you're like, oh crap, the arrows are pointing the other way. No, no, it always matches the way you enter. That's cool. So you have to stay within that little orbit. Yeah. And some of them get pretty difficult because they have uh, moons orbiting them, and you'll have to oh. dodge the moons and stay in orbit. Nice. So, pretty cool stuff. You got a new high score. Yeah. That's awesome. Let me, uh, I don't know what level that one was. See, that's the other thing. I wish, that, like, it has the video thing that comes up there, but, yeah, it doesn't let you easily click over. Here it is. So let's sync up my score. I got a new high score on this one. And I'm number two. But look, see, only seven people have submitted a high score. Yeah. And this uh, this Mitch guy has pretty good scores on a lot of them, and so does a uh, Janos guy. So, But you can... Uh, I definitely recommend this game. You know, it's... It's kind of uh, it's kind of hard to play, um, but you can just take it slow at first. And there are two different options for gravity: one that's easy, and one that's realistic. Me, I didn't really see much of a difference. Um, I don't know what what the deal is between the realistic and the easy gravity. Um, so I just left it on easy because that's how I am. So, <laughs> um, but definitely check this out on the market. It's called Galataxi. And it's 99 cents. Don't listen to it if it tries to tell you it's 96 cents. Uh, it's a bunch of hooey. It's uh, it's 99 cents. So there you go. I like it. Good job, Lane. That was a fun little app there. Yeah, I like this one. It's a it's a good game. Mm -hmm. So I like the graphics too. Very simple and clean. And yeah, the the planets have very high detail. You know, they're not. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. It's just cool. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a, and I'm a space geek since I was a kid, so so I like it. You can fly your own spaceship. Uh, this next app that one I want to do is a little bit different. It's uh, kind of like a four square for apps for games, oh, really, what, on your phone. What? Uh, what huh? Yeah, it's called uh, it's called Haze App, H E Y Z A P, all one word, uh, and it's for free on the market. There we go, for free. This little app has uh, between a half a million and a million downloads. Mm. Uh, content rating is low maturity, and that's just because you get some comments and stuff from other people online. Uh, and I'll explain that a little bit later. So if you have kids, they could be reading stuff that other people are posting online and post things online. So keep that in mind. Um, but let's see. Let's go ahead and bring it up here. Oh, in fact, I need to switch my thing to portrait. Oh boy. And start mirroring. This could be crazy. There we go. Now we're in portrait mode. And it's skinny. A little bit? Just a little bit. I don't know. There's nothing I can really do on here. We'll have to adjust it on the... True. On the other thing. On the board. What does the fit the screen thing do? Uh, you don't want that. Ooh. 
What's the other one? What about centered? There we go. There we go. That's a winner. That's it. We'll take it back up here to, four, what was it, 41 or 40%? Yeah. Okay. That works. Yikes. Maybe it was. So here we go. It's <laughs> no, that's still cutting it off. You get to see the... Uh, let's bring this down to zero. I bet you that it's... Yeah, go. because I did centered. Okay. So, hey, Zap. <laughs> Sorry, guys. You get to see some of the mess up sometimes, too. That's how you know it's real. Um, this is pretty much... Uh, like I said, you check into games. Uh, once you get this started up, you can set up a, a sign-in and everything. You can hit menu. Uh, no, it's not menu. It's you on the bottom right. Scroll down to the bottom and go to preferences. You can do Twitter sharing, uh, Facebook sharing. So when you get badges and stuff, it'll, it'll share that stuff out. Uh, you can choose a display name. I just put Lane on mine. Private mode uh, it will let you only share information out to certain people. And this is what I do. I have the show check-in pop up. Uh, so that whenever you start playing a game, it'll automatically pop up and ask you to check in uh, to the game. So and you can also come down here to notification settings. You'll want to edit this because it'll want to notify you for followers and likes, which I don't do. I take that off. But you can manage all these uh, different settings on here as well uh, to kind of keep your keep it from bugging you too much. And you can also select games to automatically check in. And here you can go into uh, unselect that if you don't want to do that. So you probably noticed on the last review, it came up and automatically said, uh -huh. you know, checked in. So if I go to you playing three games, I can go to my check-ins. And I'll show here we go. I just checked into Galataxi mm -hmm. uh, before. Uh, that's right before the show. We were making it 49 minutes ago. So I, I only had the newbie badge. I haven't uh, checked into a lot of games since I installed this. Um, but you can view just your friends that you add on here, view what everybody is playing. Uh, you can filter by all kinds of stuff. You can just view badges, bosses, which means people have mastered the game, check-ins, active discussions, and most recent. So if I come over here to games, it'll show me new games that have come in, popular games. So this is pretty cool. Uh, you can see it's a good way to discover apps. Uh, your friends' games, so stuff that they're playing, and then your games. So this is all. Do to do. You see my huge list of games. Yeah, <laughs> you're quite the gamer. So I go to uh, discover, and they have a featured thing on top. We can hide that. Oh. Um, which that was a game that we reviewed actually. Hmm. Um, and then they have all the this whole list here. And when you click install, let's see. I don't have SpeedX installed. So I come down here to install. Boom. Pops you right over into the market. And you can download and install the game. Which I am going to because I want to play that some more. <laughs> it's been a while. So the discovery process, I don't know, I think it's pretty cool. It kind of takes into account your games that you play, the games that your friends play. Yeah. And uh, kind of comes up with like a good... A good list of stuff. So, again, this is... I don't know. It's its hard to explain it beyond. It's just the four square of gaming on Android. So, when you come into a game for the first time... I just installed SpeedX. I'm going to open up this. Yeah, it's warning it and all the other good stuff. It should come up with a, a little thing that says... Should automatically check me in. Should. Or if I hit play. Okay, that's a bummer. It didn't work so well on that one. No, it did not check me in automatically. Huh. See, I'll go to you. Or did it? No. No. That's weird. <laughs> of course, I try and do a demonstration and it wouldn't do it, but it's. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Look, it shows it now. Where? Uh, I guess not. It updated my check in count, but then it didn't have the speed X on there. Uh, 
I wonder. I launched it from the install link. I wonder if I have to go into my app drawer and launch it. Try it. Here we go. Speedx, Speedx, where are you at? So uh, how does it know what apps are? Is it all the apps, like any game you play? Uh, I don't know ones? if they just cross-reference it over to the Android market or something. Where the heck is Speedx on here? I don't know. That's weird. I totally just installed it, but I don't see it now. Are you sure? I was just playing it. Maybe that wasn't it. Maybe Let's it change, the, change the name of it or something. Yeah, this is really weird. It says it's installed. Speedx 3D, full and free. There, see, look, there's the welcome to Speedx. So uh, I click check in up at the top. I can type a message. Uh, no, not speed date, Speedx. <laughs> Speedx rocks. Speed date rocks. Your wife would be. I can share out to whatever social networks, and then you can do auto check in from now on. So it just goes by the screen rotation that the app is in, too. As you can see on the screen. Yeah, and they keep popping up with stuff on you there, but yeah, and then you just keep playing the game. So it's a little bit of sideways action for you. It's true. Uh, but some pretty cool stuff. It's free and it's it's fun to connect with your friends on there. Uh, it's just another way to see uh, you know what other people are playing, and it's definitely something that you can do on Android that you could never do on iPhone. Uh, so never. They would never let anything like that go. So there you go. It's Haze app, and it's free on the Android market. And I'll keep going with that. It's the the Foursquare of gaming for Android. Well, there's a there there was another like app that's out there that's kind of like that for uh, Get Glue, I think it is. Um, yeah, that does TV shows. I don't think it yeah. does gaming though. Yeah, it's similar to that, but for. But yeah, the concept is kind of similar. Yeah. yeah, bringing Foursquare to you know the concept of Foursquare to a whole nother, you know, uh, arena. Yes. So, good stuff. Very good. So, some pretty good reviews this week. I like those. Yeah. You'll you'll be seeing me more on uh, Hey Zap, if you uh, if you follow me on Twitter. So mm -hmm. you'll be seeing those stuff that stuff coming out. I'm gonna stick with that one. That's so cool. uh, let's cover some uh, some news this week. Yeah. So we have uh, the big news okay. uh, first. Uh, a judge has reduced the monetary scope of the Oracle v Google case. Okay. So this is kind of a big deal because uh, it was uh, the damages up in the air were either 2.6 billion or 6.1 billion, depending on who you believe. Oracle was claiming, and this is odd, like they're arguing to the judge, no, 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 by these calculations that we put forward, uh, 2.6 billion is really where we were at. And Google's saying, no, you know, it shows by the way we ran the numbers, uh, you're claiming it's 6.1 billion in damages. Uh, so the the judge said no. The starting point is going to be a hundred million. So okay. quite a reduction. Yeah. And uh, this is good for you and I because it means that uh, Android has a much higher chance of continuing to be a uh, a profit making source instead of a cost to Google. So and this is all over Java. We've talked about this on uh, yeah. shows before. Um, but Google. Uh, so let's see. The uh, the judge told told Oracle to come back with a more reasonable estimation of damages and warned them that another, uh, you know, two point whatever or six point whatever billion dollar figure would cause them to receive no monetary damages. Ooh. So the judge also said that Oracle's patent claims quote certainly do not cover all of Java or all of Android end quote. So that's kind of it's just I'm saying more bad news for Oracle. Uh, but Google did lose the argument that their advertising profits had nothing to do with Android and should therefore be excluded from the calculation of damages. Uh, the judge mentioned that it has been proven that Android users perform twice as many Google searches than regular Google users. So, I don't know. I got to say, just seeing that alone gives me a little bit of uh, a faith in this judge. Because sometimes you, you hear about judges on these uh, technology cases that really just... They have like a, uh, uh, the internet is a series of tubes kind of understanding of, of technology. Well, was this one that was taken to the courts in Texas? 
Like the, uh, the I don't litigation know. heavy courts? Yeah, I don't the, know. I really don't. I'm going to say probably yes. Um, and this is just from memory because I, I remember we, we covered this and yeah. it seems like there was another lawsuit after this where we specifically mentioned uh, that it wasn't being held in Texas. So. Ooh. Yeah. So, again, this is good news. This is good news for all of us. Uh, is good. If you like Android anyway. Yeah. If you like Oracle, then maybe not. I don't know. If you're an Oracle stockholder, it's probably not good news. Let's yeah. What's who's don't know very many Oracle fanboys, you know. Yeah. So um uh, but let's see, let's move on to some quick news. Uh Rim accidentally posted their Android amp player on their website. Ooh. So uh it's been taken down. Um, but this is a software that's supposed to allow the playbook to run side-loaded <laughs> Android apps. Yes, the BlackBerry Play, which it does look pretty sweet in the commercials, you got to admit. I don't know if you've seen it before. So, But the uh, they're saying the beta is still on track to be released later this summer, so don't install this leak, blah, blah, blah. It doesn't work that well. They basically are saying that it's crappy, and they know it. So, mm-hmm. But they posted it on their own site for a Oof. download. That's crazy. Um, if you really want it, you can go online and search. It's been reposted everywhere. <laughs> so, uh, but I said we'd cover playbook stuff, right? Yeah. Because it they, it runs Android apps, or at least it will once this stuff comes out. Uh, Loadsys is expanding their patent claims to big developers now. They're not just suing little guys. Uh, mm-hmm. Of course, they're targeting both iOS and Android. Uh, this is the infection that's come, the lawsuit infection that's come over to us from. Uh, from iOS, uh, but now they're attacking Atari, Rovio Mobile, Electronic Arts, Square Enix, and Take Two Interactive. Some very big heavyweights yeah. as far as uh, gaming goes. So we'll see. We'll see how that stuff pans out. Uh, I think that Loadsys is really the new Sco as far as uh, lawsuits go. You know what I mean? Sco is uh, the, the people suing over Linux. Um, let's see, the last little bit of news here, I thought I'd kind of throw this in. Uh, you can now access and use Nokia Maps on your Android device. All you have to do is visit maps.nokia.com. Uh, I'm not sure why you'd want to do this, but there you go. It's got some, it's like, it's HTML5, so it does, it'll find your location on your smartphone, and you can get the directions there. I tried it out. Oh, uh, I did. It, it just, it doesn't look as good as... Google Maps and there's no pinching. It's only a plus and minus to go in and out. Mm. So I don't know, yeah, but you can you can try that out if you're thinking of switching to whatever Nokia is doing. <laughs> uh, it works on iPhone too, Dave. Do they have the N gauge still? Uh, you know I don't know. I'm sure there's probably an eBay sale somewhere. That's you could, cool. You could get in on that action. That was like this. Before this was around, yeah. Oh yeah, we. I guess we we can talk about this. Uh, this is a Sony Xperia Play. We have uh, episode number fifty three of the Android Tech Show coming out, and it will be featuring a review. Now, uh, what's so special about the Sony Xperia Play? You might ask. Well, it's the word play. It's got a gamepad instead of a physical keyboard, and uh, it's it's the PlayStation style. It's got all the PlayStation buttons. It's from Sony. And but it's like PlayStation One. It's uh, it only has two shoulder buttons. So mm. uh, you might have heard it, about it before, called the uh, the PlayStation Phone, or like the PSP Phone, or whatever. Um, but there you go. I like the gamepad though. Uh, it has it's not just the the buttons and the directional pad. In the middle, it has touch sensitive areas that act like the uh, joysticks do on the on the PlayStation controller. So, it takes a little bit to get used to, but they put a, a physical ridge around there so that you do have a little, a, you know, a little physical feedback when you're playing games. So, very important. <laughs> there you are. So, let's uh, go ahead and run down our, uh, yeah. our, our closeout stuff. Oh, right? man. Yeah, totally. Well, that's it. That's it yes. for the show. <laughs> that, is, that is it. Um, if you want more, you can visit theandroidappshow.com. And uh, we have just a bunch of old episodes on there. I wouldn't call them old. I'd call them classic. 
classic episodes. Yes. Uh, they feature a ton of different reviews. Uh, we also have a search box up there if you're thinking about a, a specific episode that you watch. I know that they did this review on this. What? Put it in the search box. See if we did a review mm-hmm. or find the episode we did it in. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> and if you want us to review something special, you can always follow us on Twitter. That is at Android App Show on Twitter. And uh, we, we tweet about stuff quite often. Lane does. He's kind of kind of rocking it on Twitter there. Yeah, we put out links to all of our shows and stuff. And mm-hmm. then we'll talk about the big news on there. Kind of the, the yeah. live updates that you'll want to keep track of. So yeah, uh, definitely check us out on there. Yeah, uh, and you can view some of the more classic episodes on YouTube. Yeah. Uh, YouTube.com slash The Android App Show. Yeah, we don't have a 15-minute cap, so yes. our full episodes are up on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Good stuff. Really good stuff. Yeah. And uh, let's see what else. We are part of the Blueberry Podcast Network. It's a great, a great collection of podcasts over there. Uh, independently produced, all kind of just like people doing it like us out of their spare bedrooms. Uh <laughs> You know. Or basements. This isn't a basement. No, so. it's not. We have a window <laughs> back here. Yeah. Oh, wait. Yeah. The window's covered up. Yeah, we covered up, so it looks like a basement. Yeah. <laughs> looks like a studio. And it looks the, like a high The lighting behind studio. us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it would look kind of weird if the window was just sitting right there. There you go. We could, though, put like paint some sort of uh, Android or something on the on the window. So it like, like shine through. Like coming through. Yeah. Coming at you. <laughs> like peeking around the corner with you though you'd you'd have an apple sign up there just mm-hmm. so you could batman it out into the sky put all the lights right here and shine it up mm-hmm. into the clouds the glowing apple <laughs> steve jobs would come through come in his turtleneck cape <laughs> it would be funny it would be funny if they sent somebody from the ann arbor apple store out here to respond to the logo <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes the genius response of course and again if you want to check out uh the Android app show.com. Go ahead to that. We also have the Android tech show.com mm-hmm. uh, for hardware reviews. It's the other side of our Android obsession. Yeah, it's true. So, and we have links out to our other, other shows like the iPad show, mm-hmm. you know, that old, that old thing. And the Google TV show. Yes. That really oh, old thing. I can't wait for the Google TV market to come out. <laughs> Please. <laughs> yeah. I saw you post uh, some link or whatever showing that you were updating your Google TV. That was just something I had on my phone. Oh, I hated you so much. I kept checking it <laughs> since then. I'm like, there's no update. <sighs> <laughs> I was testing out Google Google Plus. And that's right. With an old picture. That looked like a new picture. I hate you. <laughs> I hate you. And again, we are still giving out Google Plus invites. So if you want to send mm-hmm. us a message, we've had a, a good response on that. And I mm-hmm. sent them out to everybody. Uh, we have an Android App Show Google Plus account as well. We'll see how long that lasts. <laughs> I saw that Android and me had theirs suspended, so oh well. Uh, but you can follow me on Google Plus. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's lane.montgomery at gmail.com. That's also how you email me. So whatever. Cool. So right. I think that's it for the show. Yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. We will see you next week with some more great Android apps. That's right. We did that. What? Awesome show.